Hello everybody, my name is Brennan Beam, and I'm a hydraulic engineer at HEC. In this series of videos, I'm going to talk about HEC FIA. HEC FIA is Hydrologic Engineering Center Blood Impact Analysis. FIA is a consequence model. It takes hydraulic information about a flood from, say, HEC RAS, and combines it with information about what is in the floodplain, uh, structures, people, crops, uh, to calculate damages. Uh, it calculates direct economic damages, that would be damage to structures uh, and the contents within them. Uh, it calculates indirect damages, so that would be the business interruptions and the kind of hit to the economy due to the flood. Uh, it also calculates agricultural damages, those damages to the crops in the fields. Uh, further than that, uh, we also calculate life loss with a simplified version of the method that HEC LifeSim uses. A lot of this course, you're going to be focused on FDA. Uh, so here I want to draw a really strict difference between FIA and FDA. FIA is looking at the world one event at a time, whereas FDA is looking at the world all at once. It's looking at a whole frequency curve of possible events, not just one event at a time. FIA is a single event consequence model. FDA is a curve-based consequence model and a risk analysis tool. It takes things a little bit further. FIA is answering questions like, what are the consequences if the spillway fails at high pool? Or what kind of damages should we expect if we open the floodgates this much? FDA is answering questions like, what is the economic risk across the whole spectrum of flood events? Or what is the expected annual damages from this reach from flooding? So to review, uh, we're going to walk through FDA's uh, one iteration of FDA's compute. So we're going to start this in the, in the top right corner here, which is a flow frequency curve uh, identified with uncertainty, the uncertainty bands being the dotted lines there. Uh, for a single compute of FDA, we'll give FDA a flow frequency curve, uh, and it will sample between our uncertainty uh, its own curve and save that. Then it'll look at our stage flow relationship uh, with uncertainty, the sample there. From that, it's going to calculate from our water surface profiles a stage damage curve for our damage reach uh, and sample within the uncertainty there. And then compose all those curves to create uh, a damage probability curve. If we integrate that curve, that's our expected annual damages. Now, FDA is going to do this over and over and over again. We're going to do a ton of iterations. That way we can get uncertainty about that expected annual damages number. FIA is different, but we can think about it in the same type of analysis by recognizing that it is just one piece of the puzzle. So if we wanted to do this same analysis with FIA, we could look at a flow frequency curve and calculate uh, and link those flows into HEC RAS. HEC RAS could turn those flows into stages, giving us a point on our flow stage relationship. Then RAS could feed that to FIA FIA is going to take that flood event, compute damages for it, and then based on the probability, we can plot that on our exceedance probability damage plot. That's one point on that final curve we build with FDA. Now you can imagine if we did this over and over again, we could actually fill out that curve and generate the same curve using FIA as we did FDA. FDA is orchestrating this whole process 
as well as calculating economic damages uh, in that bottom left corner. FIA is just doing that bottom left corner. So if you want to do the same type of analysis, you have to post-process your results or set up a, or take a more systematic approach. Uh, one way to do it would be to use HEC Watt. Uh, HEC Watt has the FRA compute uh, where you can, kind of as I've shown here, link these models together uh, and sample random values off of frequency curve uh, and iterate through it over and over to generate uh, that final frequency curve. If you have any questions about uh, any of what you've seen in this video, feel free to ask me, uh, Brennan Beam, directly by email or post your questions to the Discourse Discussion Board.